In today's video I will show you how you can play Nintendo DS and Game Boy games on your Android device. I will show you two different methods, one very easy, just download an emulator, and a second method where I will show you how to install and configure RetroArch with different skins, like the ones that you are seeing right now, but also you can replace them for skins for the Nintendo DS, the Super Nintendo, etc. So I will show you all the steps you need to follow. So let's start with the easiest way. First of all, we are going to go to the Google Play Store and look for the Pizza Boy emulator. You have a free version and a paid one. I will install the free version, it's more than enough to play your Game Boy games, so once it is installed, just open it. We have this message, click OK, and in the bottom part we have the three dots. And now click on Load ROM from ROM folders. We are going to select the folder where we have all our ROMs. And as you know, I cannot share the ROMs, but I recommend you joining the Discord group. So select the folder where you have your ROMs and give permission to the application. Now click again on the three dots and load ROM from ROM folders. Now we have all the list of all the ROMs we have on the folder. So now you can select the ROM from the list and start playing it. As you can see in the top left part, you have the rabbit icon. So if you click on that, you can increase the speed of the game. You can also enable cheats and other configuration that I recommend you taking a look at. Now we are going to install the second emulator, the Nintendo DS one called Drastic. So we are going to look for Drastic on the Google Play Store and just install it. We don't need any type of BIOS, we just need our ROMs. So give it permission to the application and now we are going to select the ROM folder. Click on Load New Game and we are going to the Nintendo DS ROM folder. Just give permission to the application as we did in Pizza Boy and we have the list of all the ROMs. We can select the one we want and start playing it. So let's start for example Pokemon Black 2. Once a game is open you can show the menu with the bottom button. Just click on it and close the message that appeared. Now we can increase for example the speed of the game. Apart from changing the speed of the game, you can also play with the different screens. You can just, for example, put the top screen full screen or just have the screen split into two. You also can swap the different screens. And now I will show you some configuration to improve how the games look. So go down into the menu, let's click on options and general configuration. Here I recommend you showing the FPS to see how the games run and also enabling the autosave, for example, every 5 minutes, so you won't lose any progress. And now we are going to improve how the games looks. For that we are going to the video settings and here we are going to enable the option high resolution 3D rendering. This way the games are going to look way better. With this you can play now all your Nintendo DS games in their best way. And now I will show you how to configure RetroArch with skins for the emulators. We are going to use the version from the official web page instead of the version in the Google Play Store because this has additional features. For example, with the version from Google Play Store, you cannot load the games from the SD card. You have to load them from the internal memory. So in my case, as I have all the ROMs in an SD card, I need to use this version. So just click on download and install it. Once it is installed, we are going to open it and you can see the main menu. Here we are going to install first the different emulators, so let's click on Load Core and now on Download a Core. Here we are going to select the emulators for the Nintendo DS and the Game Boy. For Nintendo DS, I recommend you Melon DS and for Nintendo Game Boy, you can select the one you prefer. In my case, I will select MGBA. Also, you can add other emulators, for example, for the Game Boy Color, you can select the one that you prefer. So once we have select all the emulator cores, now we are going to load the ROMs. For that, we are going to select the second options in the right menu. Here we are going to select import content and we are going to scan the folders where we have all our ROMs. In my case, I have them in an SD card. So in my case, I have them in the SD card. So I'm going to select the ID for the SD card and the ROMs folder and just click on scan this directory. I have a lot of ROMs from GBA, from Game Boy Advance, Color, Nintendo DS and everything. And this will find all that ROMs. After that, we are going up into the directory and now we are going to load the different games. Here you can see that in the bottom part we have all the emulators that we have installed with the ROMs that we have scanned. So now you can select the game you prefer from the list and start playing it. Give it a few seconds and the game will load. For example, here I'm running Pokemon Diamond. 
If you take a look to all the buttons that appear, you can see that in the bottom part we have the button to increase the speed, in case you want to play faster. And now I will show you how to install different skins for your Android device so it looks like a Game Boy or a Nintendo DS or the game console you want. So I will show you all the process for Game Boy Advance games, but you will know how to apply for different consoles. So the first thing is to open a game, in my case a Game Boy Advance game. And just a quick tip, you can go to the menu, to the configuration, and click on save states. Here you can save the game in the moment you want with the save state button. You can see that now I will go forward into the game, and I can load the game that I have just saved when I want. So let's move now on how to configure the skins. If possible, I recommend you attaching a Bluetooth gamepad to your device. But let's start by going to the user interface menu. Here you can change the appearance if you prefer any other color palette. Like here you can change awesome dark for the one that you prefer, material dark or whatever. But I will leave as it comes by default. But if you have a gamepad attached, I recommend you changing the menu style with XMB. Now we need to click on Kit RetroArch, so the changes will be applied, and now we can see that the menu is like a PSP menu. You can do exactly the same with the normal menu, but this way is more comfortable for me. So you can move with the touch screen, as you are seeing right now with the gestures, but it is easier to use just a gamepad. Let's start running a game, for example I'm running here Pokemon Yellow, and now we are going to apply the Game Boy skin over it. So click on the menu button, go to on screen overlay and inside overlay preset we are going to select the skins. You can find the link to download these skins on the description of the video. I will leave a few of them so you can try all of them and select the one that you prefer. So in my case the one that works better are this one, the advanced overlay, so I will select GBA purple. Here to show the menu, you have to click on hide overlay menu and disable that option, so you can see them in the menu. So now let's go back so we can check that the game is too big for this skin, but we are going to adapt it, so it fits perfectly. Now we are going to the video settings, scaling, and here we are going to play a bit with the numbers. I recommend you enabling integer scale and modifying the aspect ratio for custom, so we can change it. You can play with the custom aspect ratio in width and height. If you are lucky and you just have to modify these numbers, you are good to go. But in my case, this doesn't fit perfectly, so I will need to do some manual tweaking. I will disable the integer scaling and I'm going to put the screen manually. So as you can see, with the right button, I will change the number. You can do it writing the number you want and doing some testing. And also I will change the height. If you are looking into the background, the game is going upwards. And now I will make the game a bit larger in height, but you can also do the same for the width, in case it doesn't fit your device. And now we are going to hide again the skin in the menu. So let's go to on screen overlay options, and let's go to hide overlay in menu, and let's enable that. That way we are not going to see the skin in the menu. I recommend you also uh, replacing the opacity and put it to 1, so when we are playing the game, we have the skin without any transparency. And now let's go back to the game and check if everything is fine. In my case, I did some mistake, so I need to repeat the process and adjust the game to the skin. But after some tweaking, now the games fit perfectly to the skin. So I hope you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and share the videos with your friends. And leave in the comments if you want more videos about games, emulators and so on.